In the Avengers Age of Ultron, the gang has been overloaded and stressed out with the amount of work they have had recently. Welcome to the real world. So Tony Stark decided to create a peacekeeping program called Ultron that would be an automated system designed to protect the entire world so that the Avengers do not have to anymore. Unfortunately for Tony and his friends, Ultron becomes a self-aware and self-teaching form of artificial intelligence that decides that the only way to save the world is to eradicate humans from the planet. That plot sounds a little bit familiar. I'll be back. The upcoming release of Avengers Age of Ultron got me thinking. Are we creating an Ultron? To answer that question, we will first need to define what artificial intelligence is. And according to many textbooks, it is a system that perceives its environment and takes actions that maximize its chances of success. Based on that definition, humans would fall under the category of artificial intelligence. Well, most humans. Artificial intelligence is also the theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence. This is things like visual perception, speech recognition, and decision making. So in summary, artificial intelligence is when a human creates a robot that acts like a human, kind of. Unfortunately for the Avengers, Tony created an artificial intelligence that was too human-like because it developed some human personality traits. Like the trait to completely overreact to a situation and rebel against its creators. So Ultron's pretty much a teenage robot. So is our civilization close to creating an artificial intelligence like Ultron? Well, we might be a little bit closer than you think. Let's take a project like Google DeepMind, who has created an artificial intelligence system that can learn from its own experiences. It is designed to be able to play video games over and over again until it understands the game well enough where it can play the game better than any human ever could. They say that the goal of a system like this is to solve intelligence using computer algorithms. What they actually mean is that they're putting the concept of learning into an algorithm. That's pretty scary. And this doesn't just apply to video games because there are systems like SOIN, the self-organizing incremental neural network that use artificial intelligence to recognize objects that they've never seen before. So if you were to take out your house key right now, take a picture of it and send it into the SOIN, it would be able to recognize it as a house key. I know that may not sound that impressive right now, but think about what that could lead to. Like maybe one day a machine could eventually recognize itself or become so efficient at a task like peacekeeping that there could be nothing that humans could do to stop the machine from doing its task. That could lead to a scenario like Ultron or Skynet where the system we created to protect the world protects it so well that it becomes unstoppable even to its creators. And imagine if a system like that had access to something like the internet, where it can gain information in seconds and control systems from around the world. What separates Ultron from other apocalyptic artificial intelligence systems is that Ultron is in a robot form and is conscious and self-aware, unlike some of your friends at parties. And Ultron eventually becomes self-aware enough to assemble himself. Again, unlike your friends at parties. Originally, he has a very crude form made of scraps of Iron Man armor, but eventually he is able to learn self-assembly well enough to make a suit of armor better than any human ever could. Sounds a bit like Google DeepMind, just saying. And if you think that self-assembling robots are scary, well then prepare to be terrified. Because there are a few self-assembling robots that can stack themselves and even fly. But the one that will haunt your dreams are called the Kill. Robots. The Killabots are a series of thousands of little robots that can turn into any shape that you can think of. They were developed by some computer science students at Harvard last year and have stated our plan is to rule the world with these robots. The human race stands no chance. Now that last quote may or may not be true, but nonetheless these robots are scary. And this fear of robots, especially the ones with artificial intelligence, comes from the theory of a technological singularity. That is the hypothesis that accelerating progress in technologies will cause a runaway effect where artificial intelligence will exceed human intellectual capacity and control, thus radically changing civilization in an event called the singularity. Or in English, robots will replace the roles of humans on Earth. And this has already kind of happened in society, like factories, banks, and the music industry. Eventually, there may be some sort of an artificial intelligence explosion 
where robots can upgrade and improve themselves so quickly that our human biological evolution wouldn't be able to compete. So in summary, we'd be pretty much screwed. Unless we had something like the Vision. And for those of you that don't know, Vision is pretty much a peacekeeping program like Ultron, except it didn't go all, you know, psycho crazy and try and kill everyone on Earth. Oh, and it has a soul gem, um, obviously. One last thought that I would like to leave you with is a quote from the book, Our Final Invention. And based on the book title, you pretty much know where this is going. AI approaching artificial general intelligence may develop survival skills and deceive its makers about its rate of development. It could play dumb until it comprehends its environment well enough to escape it and outsmart its creators. So it is quite possible that we've already created AI that is smarter than humans, but it might just be playing dumb until it gets strong enough to destroy all humans. I got my eye on you, Siri. You're not fooling anyone. One last thing that I would like to mention is that I have a special Science of Avengers extended edition on iTunes right now. It's about 30 minutes long, so if you want to go check out some more Science of the Avengers, make sure to click on the link below, and hopefully the annotation is working. And Plathrons also has a really cool video about the Avengers 2, which you can check out on his channel in the link below. Anyways, now, thank you for watching.